Hey Thax, how's it going? We were talking a little bit about uh, what, how people perceive you, which I think, I think we should talk about this. This is an excellent thing because it comes up constantly. Um, we're all sharing the tubes with one another, and sometimes who we are as people is becomes the topic. And I've actually heard, like for instance, Gary, uh, hey, do not God. Um, say, like, I'm not the topic. Let's talk about what I'm talking about. Don't talk about me. Um, and uh, I've, heard, I've heard that from a couple different people. Like, uh, why, why, why is my personality or, or my, my ways uh, suddenly the topic for your discussion? No way around it, right? Um, but, uh, and also... Uh, someone might perceive you completely different than another person. And they might have the same, actually, exposure. Um, and I think that, you know, on one hand you might say, uh, oh, it doesn't matter what people think about you. All, all that's important is how you feel about yourself. Um, very, very true. Um, other people can have uh, some excellent insight uh, into who you are, or at least, if not into who you are, uh, perhaps into how who you are affects others, you know, kind of like how when a boat goes by um, and that boat makes waves and that waves affects the shore and the shore erodes and the trees fall down. So that, you know, that boat didn't really knock those trees down, but uh, the boat has something to do with it. It's not the boat's fault. <laughs> um, so, uh, I mean, so where I was going with that is... Uh, like I have, I have a kind of personality that, uh, um, from my perspective, I kind of galvanize people. Uh, people like me, um, or, and some people feel really strongly. They're really anti-Earl. Um, it's so interesting that uh, uh, I can enter a group of people and uh, watch this kind of evolve. And it doesn't take that long. I mean, you kind of get a feeling like, hey, I like the Earl, man. He rules. And he's so this, that, or the other thing, you know, something that, something that you appreciate. Um, and then somebody else there will just almost as quickly come to the exact opposite conclusion uh, that I am really a POS. <laughs> I really upset them uh, to a high degree. Um, now, I think that, uh, you know, both those perspectives um, say something about me, not whether I'm good or bad. Um, but just how my personality meshes with others. Uh, so I think there's some value into that. Like when some people when are discussing uh, such and such tuber or are even discussing yourself, um, it's not valueless. And normally kind of like when that happens to me, when someone doesn't like me, um, they take an immediate uh, disliking. Um, I really, I mean, it's not as much that I start focusing on my own personality, is that I start focusing on their personality. I'm like, well, what about, what about the way they do things um, doesn't uh, mesh well with how I do things? And uh, I heard it, I've heard it said a lot, and some people like it and some people don't, that uh, I kind of do, uh, Earl, he does his own thing. Um, well, yeah, you could t try to get Earl to stop that, but most likely he's just going to keep doing it because, um, you know, it works for him, that kind of thing. Um, and that might frustrate the heck out of somebody. Um, I see why. So when I when I see that, it's kind of like in someone's personality. Uh, they're along. They're like. They might be more group oriented, um, and they understand the value of uh, of group group cooperative behavior. And not that I don't, but I also really uh, see the value in uh, uh, an individual's contribution to a group. Especially with uh, somebody that doesn't necessarily always go along or doesn't automatically adopt uh, a way of behavior or thinking or, or policy um, that is, you know, immediately agreed upon by others. You know, it's not like I'm a, a major dissenter or a major approver. Um, I just have my own perspective. And uh, I think that has value and it certainly works for me or I wouldn't be doing it. I mean, that's the thing. It's like... Um, seems like most of the things in my life uh, have a positive effect in my life. So, that, I mean, that's why when people say, uh, Earl, I'd really like you to be different, 
I'm like, oh, well, I'd, I can't help you because this way is really working for me. I'm really, I'm really enjoying uh, um, life, myself, and things. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm having a certain amount of success with some of the things that I think are important. Um, so I'm going to stick with my way. I might try to adopt someone else, else's way, get a feel for it. But, you know, just to just stop doing what makes me happy or makes me successful or uh, feels best and right to me. Um, you know, it's my life. And uh, I, th I really think it's my right to go through it making constant mistakes. Um, that might be exactly what I signed up for in heaven when I decided to come down here and do that whole earth thing. Like, I just want to go down there and make mistakes and then be okay with it. Um... Not that I don't have regrets, but um, there's uh, a kind of thing where something doesn't go quite right, and you, um, you might regret uh, an aspect of it, but as long as you learn uh, from your experience, um, it was a good experience. Even negative experiences uh, can bring about uh, a certain amount of goodness. So, yeah. So, yeah, it's being perceived by others. It's so interesting. And, uh, and valuable. I don't think it should be ignored. Though I don't think, you know, it needs to be weighed properly. <laughs> um, all right, well, Pax, thanks for listening. Hope you enjoy this beach. Isn't it nice? It's an island, actually, uh, very close to where, uh, where I live. All right, peace out. See you on the beach.